Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com, subscribe to our blog, and also join us on Facebook um, to get more resources as you're preparing through medical school and for the board exam. Let's review eosinophilic esophagitis, E on E. This is a fairly new disease, and so you may have not heard about it in medical school, but it's high yield for the boards. What happens in EOE is there is the presence of esophageal dysfunction, mainly dysphagia, vomiting, abdominal pain, heartburn, feeding difficulties, and there's also isolated esophageal eosinophilia, 15 or more eosinophils. Okay, so that's the key here, the presence of eosinophils on histology. Symptoms include dysphagia. It's often present for two years or more. Food impaction requiring removal. Reflux uncontrolled by proton pump inhibitors. Vomiting. 50% of patients are associated with atopic diseases. Failure to thrive and poor weight gain. So again, the differential is going to be based upon the presence of eosinophils because the symptoms, dysphagia, food impaction, reflux, overlap with several diseases. Particularly on the boards, you want to be careful in differentiating GERD versus E on E. So the symptoms of eosinophilic esophagitis are intermittent. Okay. Also, the pH probe is normal. And on endoscopy, um, you know, you often have to repeat it to get the diagnosis. Keep in mind, the presence of 15 or more eosinophils gives you the diagnosis. With GERD, it's persistent symptoms, abnormal pH probe, and the acid blockade of the PPI is responsive. So it's clearly different from GERD, but also make sure that you have this disease on your differential as you're taking the board exam. What about the treatment? Well, food avoidance, um, six food elimination from the diet is key. Milk, soy, eggs, wheat, peanuts, um, seafood. Um, and again, 35% of children on this diet did show improvement. Skin testing, the Spurgle and colleagues study identified that milk, egg, peanut, shellfish, peas, beef, fish, rye, tomato, wheat, as the most commonly identified allergic foods through the prick skin testing. Okay. Also understand that the skin prick was predictive in 21% of the patients for detecting and treating eosinophilic esophagitis. So food avoidance and getting a skin test to find out the exact causes of the allergy are key in your treatment. Please visit comlexflashcards.com as you're preparing for your board exam and good luck in your preparation for the boards.